Again, I believe we've got a uh, rematch from Maryville. Crown Point is Eric Roach and Tommy Churchard from Valparaiso. Uh, Churchard has been here before. Four-time sectional champion is Tommy Churchard with a record of 46 and two. Runner-up at 125 in 2007. He lost to Reese Freeman of Bloomington South. That final was eight to four. He's a freestyle state champion. And uh, for those of you that uh, are relatively new to the sport of high school wrestling, uh, I, I can tell you this: when these young men are introduced in the face-off before we took uh, to the webcast here on IHSAAsports.org to a man they all have freestyle championships state championships regional championships you name it uh, it's a year-round commitment for these young men that's how they get to this level it certainly is and there's a lot of uh, developing wrestling academies and when you look at our uh, indiana wrestlers as they graduate they go on and we're making more noise on a national level in the ncaa uh, division one division two uh, it's really, really impressive how far Indiana has come in the sport of wrestling. No score in the first period in this 130-pound match. Roach uh, with a record of 41-3, and three, just a freshman. But Roach is taken down by uh, Churchard on a nice fireman's carry. He followed through. It was an outside leg fireman's, but he got the two-point takedown. And uh, I would imagine that Churchard's uh, victories are have been some of them over Roach already. I know last week, last week in the Maryville Simmons State it was. Well, as you mentioned, a senior against a freshman and uh, a little bit of a rarity for a freshman to uh, to even have a shot at, at finishing runner-up of the 130-pound weight class. Well, Mark, you said earlier that these guys are no longer freshmen at this point, and this guy doesn't look like a freshman. To be at this uh, level, they're very few and far between to get a freshman in state championship. Last week, I think the... Uh, final between these two was a 6-5 victory uh, by Churchard over Roach so uh, this could be an exciting match before it's over. Score remains 2 to nothing. Churchard in front just about 15 seconds left in the match or in the first period of this match we should say and, and um, Roach is moving he's moving well he's now he's got his knee under set out he's trying to turn and catch the head but Church is in a nice job of riding and following. Okay, he now we, in good position. we see this freshman as this period ends, and it's still two to nothing. We see this freshman here. Uh, I noticed last week when I did the swimming and diving state final, Center Grove, for instance, their 400-yard relay had three freshmen, saw a lot of freshmen and sophomores. We've seen it at the RCA Dome the last several years, even at the 4 and 5A level. Of course, Sheridan has a, an outstanding group of people. They've won three state, state, straight state championships. How do you attribute, what do you attribute the influx of talented freshmen and sophomores we've seen at all sports uh, in all classes over the last seemingly four or five years? We see more of them now than we did, say, maybe 10 years ago. Well, Mark, I think, uh, number one, they're getting better preparation at the younger levels, youth football, and coaches in high school are picking them out. Uh, but I think coaches are also, in the other sports, not so much wrestling, but the other sports, nice. It's called a boot scoot, little duck. Duck under and got around. Churcher did. Nice uh, takedown there. He's got a nice commanding 5-0 lead at this point. But I uh, think the other sports coaches are more open-minded to allowing freshmen to play varsity ball, where at one point, I think, in the history of sports in Indiana, we, we tried to let them grow a little bit, mature a little bit with people their own age. But uh, I think uh, that mindset has changed. You win with your best, don't you? Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. You put well, the best out there and see what happens, right? Uh, you see it all the time, and more and more, like you say, Mark. Now, this uh, it's a commanding lead for Churchard. In wrestling, usually you put your best person on the mat, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, so it doesn't matter. And I think anybody in the state would like to put Eric Roach on the mat from Crown Point. He is a very talented uh, freshman score now five to one with a minute under a minute remaining in period number two. So you have two at 145. Uh, wrestle off for the right to to compete during the course of the season. I mean, you have those two 145 kids go out there and best man wins, and he's the one that uh, that gets the match. That's basically it. And then the other the other uh, 45 who didn't get the shot will will either stay and work make the uh, varsity starter better or. He'll keep challenging until he gets his opportunity, and you see that so often in this sport. Uh, actually, when you have that type of competition in the wrestling room, it's going to only make your team better and the individuals better. Sometimes guys get a little bit lax when they don't have a lot of competition. Nice shot under. He's got a single. Now he's going to try to back door. 
but Churchard is going to lock him up. This is a hard area to score. Right now, it's Churchard's best hope is to get a stalemate. Did not happen. If, if, if Roach can get him down to the mat inbounds, he'll score a takedown, and I think he's going to get it. I think I, he did. <laughs> I don't know what changed there, Mark. Sometimes the referees uh, wait, hesitate, make sure he's got control, but I think that's a correct call. So it's 5-3 now, and Churchard goes down. 5-3 to three as we get ready for period number three in the 130-pound weight class. Oh, I stand corrected. It's, uh, it's Roach's choice, and he goes down. So this is really going to get exciting. He wants that escape point. Going to see if he can get it. Nice yeah, sit out. He's squared now. He's, new. He's got his head outside single. He switches to a double. He's going to get a reversal out of this or not? Well, he might get a reversal or escape and a takedown. We'll see what happens. Right now, I'd say he's got an escape, but the referee is patient and he gives a one point let's get the point they're both up minute 43 left five to four year score now churchard leading it's turned out to be a great match a lot of action uh churchard can't sit back takes his oh nice nice shuck front headlock shuck and he spun around got behind uh roach took a shot a good shot but he stopped on his feet just secondarily and that's what is what allowed Churchill to the opportunity of snapping by. Two big points when you're facing a senior in the final period with a minute 27 left. Those are two huge points. Yes, but I have a feeling it's not the end. He can get one back if he can get out here. Roach does a nice job sitting out or going with a knee under and, he, and turning inside and trying to get his hips cleared so he can either stand up or actually do a, get a complete reversal. And Churchard is just trying to maintain good position and follow. He's doing a nice job of that right now. Roach working hard to get out. And he needs to. He has a minute left. And there he goes, sit out. He turned away. And now it's 7-5. Anyone's match. Nine. He did another shuck. This time Churchard re or Roach reacted to Churchard's shuck. And we're still in a neutral position. 40 seconds left. 7-5 to five your score. Churchard from Valparaiso trying to win a state championship after finishing runner-up at 125 a year ago. We're down to 30 seconds, and Churchard is now going to probably try to counter any move. He's in front of headlock. Another shot. Did it again. That's two-point takedown. Takes his points when they come to him, doesn't he? Yes. He's wrestling a smart match. And Roach immediately gets the escape. 18 seconds left. 9-6 your score in favor of Tom Churchard. Looking to claim a state championship after finishing runner-up a year ago, doing well, all he can to keep Church his distance here. He's gotten worn for stalling. He's backing up, and he can afford really to lose a penalty point on stalling if he really wanted to. Uh, Roach's only hope is to take him down and try to catch him to his back. Eight and seconds left. And that's probably not going to happen here. He's got the single. He might give up a takedown. He did. So Roach got the takedown, but at the buzzer, but still one point shy. A 9-8 final score, 130-pound weight class. Tom Churchard closes out the season with a record of 47-2. And, and as we mentioned, finished runner-up at 125 a year ago. Comes back to win a championship and uh, write the name down, Eric Roach of Crown Point. A record of 41-4 and four his freshman season. And uh, boy, his future is bright.